Hi, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration, and here at this channel, we're here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole, and healed, peaceful, and prosperous life. Welcome to your February 2019 reading. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and checking this video out. And if you are a frequent flyer, welcome aboard again. Let's get into your reading. Oh, by the way, this is for sun, moon, and rising, so if this does not resonate with your sun sign in Gemini, Check out your moon and your rising as I put them up on the channel. So overall, Gem, okay, for February, we have the Ace of Swords. Um, you guys are quick thinkers anyway. This is a little scary for those of us sometimes that deal with Geminis, right? So your quick wit and your quick thought is going to be even quicker. Um, new, fresh, I'm getting a lot of that for February. This new, fresh thought process, way of, of viewing yourself, way of speaking, um, way of considering the earth and the world around you, um, all happening. I mean, we've really been hurtling towards this new way of being. And Gemini, you being such quick thinkers, this is really going to, this is, you know, this is kind of your energy. This is your pace. And um, you're being rewarded for it. Also with the Eight of Swords, I do see you coming out, though, of feeling the sense of being trapped. Um, probably because you've been forced to kind of slow down, forced to ground yourself a little bit. Um, and you don't like that. I know. But pumping your brakes this last month or so really it was the best thing for you. But you're being released from that now. And with the Page of Crystals, new methods of making money, earning money, manifestation, crown chakra that goes right along with that Ace of Swords. I mean, this is fresh downloads that coming that's coming in. We could potentially also see with the Five of Wands some conflict. Um, because people aren't going to want to move as fast as you want them to. So just be careful about that, okay? But truly, you with the Star Seed card, you truly, which is the Fool card in this deck, and the Star Child Tarot deck, you truly do have all that you need in order to manifest all that you want. Um, you truly do have within you this new, great new adventure that Spirit has been taking you on, and you have all the elements necessary to create it. Um, now, you're not too normal, right? And that's a good thing, okay? Um, the first week we, of February, we have the Eight of Wands. So, movement. Finally, you're no longer stagnant. Let's get a little clarification on that. Um, not chariot-type movement. Not even King of Wands like or Knight of Wands, really super directional. But movement, nonetheless. With the Emperor card, so this could be an Aries that's involved. Um, there's a lot of fire that's going on here. Um, but you're really ruling your roost, man. You are ruling your kingdom. You are very certain about the direction. I think that this past couple months have taught you to be a little bit more careful in your methodology of execution. With the Serenity card, please do take some time. Meditate and still remain a little bit slower. I know. I know. But just take a moment to, like, take 10 seconds breathe before you speak, breathe before you move, take just a second, okay? But bring this serenity and remember that everything that you see in this outside world, in this matrix, can be changed. It's all energy. So harness your inner self, your inner energy, your inner power, your inner divinity, so that you can change the world around you. But remain serene in that moment, okay? Moving into the second week, we have the sun Fabulous. New beginnings. Fabulous. Things coming all together for you with the sun full of hopefulness, full of fantastic vim, vigor, like really going after it with the high priestess card. Interesting for February. A lot of people associate the high priestess with Pisces. So a lot of this Pisces, just knowing energy, wisdom, deep wisdom, Keeper of Secrets, which isn't typically a, 
a Gemini thing, but I believe secrets are being illuminated to you. Secrets are being shown to you. Deep, uh, abiding, infinite wisdom is being brought to you, and your intuition is on high. With the Seven of Swords, you're actually, the way I see this is that you have identified what's been stealing your joy, what's been stealing your peace, who's been not with you, who's been not for you. And as that high priestess, you're moving in the in in the intuitive way of being like, I see you, and I see what you're trying to do, but you're not going to be able to. That's what, how I see this playing out in the second week. People's motivations being brought to you, and you just know, right? But you still remain like upbeat and happy and joyful because they're not going to steal your joy from you. They may want to try to take an idea or two. Or they might be hiding something, but it's like you already know it. So it's like, what's the point in hiding? But I don't even sense anger about it. You're just like, okay, yeah, I get it. All right, this is where you're at. So this is where we're going to be at. Moving into the third week, we have the Ace of Crystals. Ah, amazing. So you started out with the Ace of Swords being some of the overall energy. And this tells me third week um, when we're coming into the full moon, right? The Pisces full moon. Um, Boy, New manifestations happening. You also have the star. Again, wish, fulfillment, hopefulness, riding the wind of the spirit. Okay? Justice, you get in what you, you get out what you put into it. You are balancing the scales. Could be a Libra. There could be an Aquarius. There is a lot of air energy here as well. So, um... I think that you're going to be in your element here, okay? You're going to be in your element. Um, and the story that's coming out is with the Eight of Cups, you're moving away from the things that no longer, like you're like, I'm leaving all that crap behind. I'm leaving all those unhealed emotions. Um, I'm just like going to heal them and release them and let them go because they're not doing me any good because I really need to put in the work with the Eight of Crystals. And this is going to be quick work. Could be a cancer involved. But this is going to be a quick work with the chariot. You are like, by the third week, you've got this momentum that you're just like, whoosh, right? And then that definitely then rings true with coming out at the end of the week. Both of these cards came out. I have to acknowledge them both. The Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Quick, passionate movement. But the Nine of Cups says, I am so happy with who I am, where I am, how I am. I love myself. I love my life. I'm not letting anybody, letting anybody change my mind about it. Keeping your balance with temperance. Making sure you stay grounded, guys. Make sure you stay grounded. Could be a Sagittarius involved, but make sure you stay grounded. And here we again have the Page of Crystals. New methodologies of making money. New methodologies of manifestation. Um, getting a new language for manifestation as well is what I see. And this King of Crystals says, by the end of February... We're once again, Gemini, all about our bag, and it's coming in. It's coming. Provision, provision, provision is coming, right? So stability, provision is coming. It's already here. So just know that, you know, your passions are going to fuel this, and you're going to get ways to utilize your passions to make that bag and keep yourself financially secure. Also security and stability within your family life, if that's been a little bit shaky. Uh, by the end of February, that should all kind of get ironed out. And there should be plenty of stability here um, waiting for you, ready for you, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much. Again, please like, consider subscribing if you already haven't. Leave me some comments below. Let me know how this resonated with you. Um, also, if you wish to work with me in any fashion, with energy work, spiritual coaching, I'm offering spiritual coaching as well, um, working with me through your ascension and awakening process. And also, we do have a conference, spiritual conference, Propelling a Purpose, coming up March 8th through the 10th, right here in Madison, Wisconsin. Let me tell you, it is going to be amazing. Reiki 1 attunement, um, enhancement, and just like kind of drawing out the spiritual gifts. Um, internal healing, being able to heal others, setting up your business. This is a two-day pack, information value packed two days. Have your face in the place, your tushy in the seat, okay? Um, get here no matter what. Registration is open. Spots are filling up. You do not 
want to miss the blessing and the manifestation energy that's going to be in this place. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so very much. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.